Okay, this is another really awesome case, and I'll credit learning about this case from Yannick Liederman up in Chicago. Yannick uh, first showed me doing glue for an optic disc pit several years ago at one of the VitBuckle meetings. So I like to approach these cases like a macular hole case. I'll go ahead and stain with ICG. Here you can see the vitreous is still down. And in many cases, the vitreous is still down in these patients. And so we'll use that ICG to help us identify the vitreous and elevate the posterior hyaloid. Here you can see that up and out motion that I love to use to get the PVD with the cutter, gets it up off of the nerve. And then I just use the fluid to help dissect the rest of the vitreous up and off by cutting. I don't have to go back down and pull excessively in many cases. Now, after staining, um, and that ICG did penetrate and stain the ILM nicely, there was this tissue by the disc pit. And so I tried to peel that, and it was really fruitless. Um, you just couldn't get a good grasp. It looked like it was maybe residual vitreous um, that had been incarcerated into the pit. Um, but this really wasn't a great place to start the peel. So I went ahead and did my standard pinch and peel of the eye limb. Here you can see peeling the eye limb up and across. Interesting how the eye limb really stained uh, anomalously in the area of the fluid and so you could actually see where the fluid had been or was by the fact that the ILM didn't stain as well in that area which is very strange but um, despite that I was able to get the ILM up really nicely in one really nice kind of widespread confluent sheet now in the past I've tried to tuck this ILM back into the disc pit uh, hole and I just find that's not successful uh, so I just go ahead and peel the ILM and remove the ILM from the eye. Now, many people will advocate doing laser at the edge of the disc uh, pit um, to just try and encourage uh, some scarring and closure. I'm not a laser person, um, and so basically I don't do laser on these cases. Here you can see I get that ILM out over the pit, and then it just kind of lyses from there. The real key to using this tissue glue uh, is the fact that there's an activator and there's the glue itself. And so you really want to have this as dry as possible. Now, this is where the chandelier light comes in really helpful because in reality, what you have to do is you have to have two instruments in the eye. So in my left hand right now, I actually have the activator. In my right hand, I have a soft tip. I dry, dry, dry as much as I can. Despite that, there's still fluid that percolates up through that pit. Now I have my glue in on a soft tip, and I'm basically injecting glue and activator at the same time, and it'll go over the macula here, as well as the optic nerve, and it'll get this kind of semi-opaque uh, appearance. You can still see through it, um, but it just doesn't look right. Now, I want to make sure that it did take and that it wasn't too wet there. So I'll go down with my soft tip, and I just gently aspirate a little bit, and you can see it doesn't come up. That's a good sign. This patient did extremely well with uh, resolution of their fluid at a week. Thanks for watching.